had never stood a chance! It's not my fault! I have these fat plastic fingers and can't press the buttons! Friend, you have met a terrible, terrible demise. But, uh, you know, I, I don't feel too bad about it. After all, if, if it weren't from me, it would have just been from someone else, you know? I guess what I'm trying to say is life, life goes on. Well, well from, for everyone else, life goes on. Not, not for you. You're, you're dead. But that's neither here nor there. It reminds me of one summer day in the park. I was having just a delightful picnic with my good friend Orville. 
And I said to him, I said, Orville, I, I have a story. And he said to me, What's the significance of the story? And I said to him, Orville, not every story has to have significance, you know. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes a story is just a story. If you try to read into every little thing and find meaning in everything anyone says, you'll just drive yourself crazy. I had a friend do it once. It wasn't pretty. We talked about it for years. And not only that, but you'll likely end up believing something you shouldn't believe and thinking something you shouldn't think or, or assuming something you shouldn't assume, you know? Sometimes, I said, a story is, is just a story. So just be quiet for one second of your life and eat your sandwich, okay? Of course, it was only then I realized I'd made sandwiches, and poor Orville was having such difficulty eating it. Elephants have those clumsy hands, you know. Actually, I, I suppose that's the problem. They don't have hands at all, do they? They're, they're all feet. I, I, I couldn't imagine someone asking me to eat a sandwich with my feet. Now, if I recall correctly, there was a bakery nearby. I, I said to him, Orville, uh, let me go get you some rye bread. Now, I'm unsure if elephants enjoy rye bread, but I assure you that Orville does. Now, this was on a Tuesday, which was good because rye bread was always fresh on Tuesday. They made sourdough bread on Monday and threw it out Wednesday, or rather they sold it at a discount for people wanting to feed the ducks, and then probably at the end of the day, finally, they threw it all out. I, I don't recall. I do remember a man who would bring his son to the bakery every Wednesday and then go feed the ducks. He would buy all of the sourdough bread. Of course, you know, you're not supposed to feed the ducks sourdough bread at all. It swells up in their stomach and then they all die. It, uh, at least, at least that's what I've heard. You know, I, I never saw any ducks die myself, but I did notice a substantial decrease in the duck population over the course of a few years. I just never thought to stop the man and tell him that he was killing the ducks by feeding them sourdough bread. And if you want my opinion on the matter, <laughs> and I told Orville this as well, if you want to feed ducks or birds or any kind for that matter, it's best to buy seed. I mean, when you think about it, breads of any sort don't occur in nature. They don't grow on trees or spring up from the bushes. I don't think birds know what to do with bread. What was I saying? Oh, oh, yes, yes. So I bought Orville some rye bread. What a fine day it was. If you sit by the river long enough, you will see the body of your enemy float by. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting for you to drop your guard. What did you think of my act? Please deposit five coins. 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 Please deposit. Please deposit. Please deposit. Please deposit five coins. So good to see you again, my truest friend. But now your life must end. How may I be of service to ya? When I'm here, you play by my rules! Uh-oh! 
oh, how unfortunate. I'm gonna do a sneaky thing and throw a new contender in the ring. You won't die, but you'll wish you could. I always come back. Come spend eternity inside with me. Uh, hello, hello! Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper suit handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring lock located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks, as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In the case that the yeah. spring locks come what loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out, as to not ruin the customer experience. As always, if there is ever an emergency, please go to the designated safe room. Every location is filled with one extra room that is not included in the...